first slot of the uh, seminar presentations. So let's start the session with the introduction. So first we will understand uh, what actually Fourier said. The Fourier statement was any function can be written as a sum of constant term you know, and summation of some weightage of uh, cosine harmonics and some uh, weightage of sine harmonics. This was a mathematical statement and as an electrical engineer we are going to interpret it uh, in a very different way. So how I am going to interpret uh, it uh, in electrical terms and that every signal is a function of time and every function of time can be written in this form. So in electrical terms I can say every signal consists of a constant term which I will say as a DC term and some cosine harmonics and some sine harmonics where this DC term can be written as 1 by t integration of uh, f of t dt from interval 0 to t and this is the average value for the DC value. This a and the radius of these cosine harmonics will be written as 2 by t integration of f of t cos n omega naught t dt under the same interval and where this omega naught t is a fundamental frequency. B n will be 2 by t integration of f of t sin n omega naught t dt 0 to t. So, let us uh, kick off the session with this example. In this session, I will uh, take this example through the whole uh, lecture. And at the end of this lecture, I will prove it if the Fourier was true or not. And this will be done through a MATLAB program. So let us take this square wave uh, with amplitude A and the time period of 2 seconds. In this wave, I can find a DC term and uh, the cosine harmonics and the sine harmonics. Let us start with the DC term. As I earlier said, that the DC term will be equal to 1 by t, 0 to t, f of t, dt, which is the average value or the DC value. So average value is the total area under the one period of a signal. This is the total, uh, this is the one period of the signal and this is the total area under this signal during one period. So if I take the areas, I can say for 0 to 1 seconds I have the positive A area and for 1 to 2 seconds I have the negative A area. So the total area under the signal in one time period will be A minus A which is equal to 0. So this means this signal is having no DC value and this is most important thing. If I will give this signal to a DC motor, the DC motor will not run because this signal does not contain any DC. Well, so for the weightage of the cosine harmonics, I have to find this a n, which I earlier said will be equal to 2 by t, 0 to t, f of t cos and omega now, t d. So for this thing, now if I solve this integral, ah, there will be two values. Move to if I solve this integral, there will be two values of the signal, which is from 0 to 1, which is uh, exactly the half of the time period. This signal will be uh, attaining the value of a. And for the next half cycle, it will be attaining the value of minus a. So I can break this integral into half integrals as 0 to t by 2 a cos n omega naught t and minus a cos n omega naught uh, dt from t by 2 to t. Okay? When I solve this integral, this comes out to be 0. So there is no weightage of cosine harmonics. Means this signal does not contain any cosine harmonics. Now, Calculating the value of Bn, we see Bn is equal to 2 by t, 0 to t, f of t, sin n omega naught t dt. And same thing happens here. This uh, integral will be broken into two parts from 0 to t by 2 and t by 2 to t. Conclude. Because Conclude. this, because, uh, this attains two different values. So on solving this integral, I find uh, a very interesting thing. The value of Bn will attain zero values if I take n as a, suppose 2, 4, 6, 8, so on. And this attains a value 4a by n pi if n is taken as odd. So we came to, uh, came to a conclusion that this signal contains odd sine points, which will be 4a by pi sine omega naught t. Another one will be 4a by 3 pi sine 3 omega naught t. And another will be 4a by 5 pi sine 5 omega naught t and so on. So if I say this signal contains 
sine harmonics. So I can translate in uh, Fourier terms that this signal contains sine harmonics with different weightages. The amplitudes are different for every different frequency. Now if I take this A as 1 and I will take this frequency omega naught as uh, 200 okay 200 hertz so I can say there will be odd multiplies of this 200 frequency now we understood this this uh, signal contains these odd harmonics but this was a mathematical statement I proved it mathematically how about the physical interpretation does it really happen in real life so Con let's conclude. do it whether it is true or not if I am concluded I will do it like this Conclude. Conclude. So this is the fundamental sign wave. And if I add the third harmonic to this fundamental sign wave, I will see what will happen. So here I have uh, added up uh, the harmonics, fifth harmonic, seventh harmonic, third harmonic to the fundamental harmonic of frequency 200 and amplitude 1. So if I uh, uh, run this program, I should be getting a signal that I uh, showed on the blackboard. And this is the first harmonic, fundamental harmonic. This is the third harmonic, as you can see here. This is the fifth harmonic, the seventh harmonic. When I add these harmonics, I get a wave like this that I showed on the board. And if I keep on adding the different odd harmonics up to infinity, I will get a scale wave that I have taken in the uh, start of this lecture. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful for you.